way down to coordinate search and rescue. On my way down to coordinate search and rescue. Uh, place to end up, huh? I am Loki of Asgard. Never mind. Don't touch that. Variant identified. Time. I beg your pardon. Time. On behalf of the Time Variant Authority, I hereby arrest you for crimes against the sacred timeline. Now get out of my way. That's cool. Buddy. Just you cross me, there are deadly consequences. We'll see. I mean, does she know who he is? I I, I don't know. I mean Oh no. Buddy. Behave clock. This is a mistake. I shouldn't be here. Hey there. You're probably saying this is a mistake. I shouldn't even be here. Long ago, there was a vast multiversal war. Countless unique timelines battled each other for supremacy, bringing peace by reorganizing the multiverse into a single timeline. The sacred timeline. Now that your actions have left you without a place on the timeline, you must stand trial for your offenses. So sit tight and we'll get you in front of a judge in no time. Just make sure you have your ticket and you'll be seen by the next available attendant. <laughs> Timekeepers. The sacred timeline. Who actually believes this bunker? Ticket, sir. <laughs> Good thing you got a ticket. Here's that when they arrived, somebody got the jump on them. Do say, Captain. effort to stave off my ascent to God King. What they did was supposed to happen. You escaping was not. Not supposed to happen? According to whom? The timekeepers. Oh, the timekeepers. Right. What do you do? Dictate the proper flow of time according to their dictations. How do you please? But how do you know what they're saying Can't is you. right? It's not going to work. Place in the ground. I'll show you where my desk is. You can start there. <laughs> oh wow, it's really big. Like, holy crap, it's really cool. They're gonna become best friends, aren't they? You sure do lose a lot. I even say it's in your nature. You know, things didn't turn out so well for the last person who said that to me. Oh yeah, Phil Coulson. The Avengers come together to literally avenge him by defeating you? I know what I am. A murderer? A liberator. Of eyeballs, maybe. Look at that smile. You are enjoying that. Did you enjoy hurting them? I don't have to play this game. I don't see anything very mischievous about this. Ashley Johnson! Bourbon soda. Thank you. Absolutely. Is there anything else I can do for you, sir? I can't believe you were D.B. Cooper. Come 
Come on. I was young and I lost a bet to Thor. If you hadn't picked up the Tesseract, you would have been taken to a cell on Asgard. Ooh, are they gonna show him everything? Then the Dark Elves attack the palace and you think you send them to Thor. You might want to take the stairs to the left. But instead you send them... Oh, never tell. Do you enjoy hurting people? I don't believe Do you. Do you enjoy killing? I'll kill you. What, like you did your mother? You weren't born to be king, Loki. You were born to cause pain and suffering and death. That's how it is. All so that others can achieve their best versions of themselves. Give me the Tesseract or I'll gut you like a fish, Casey. What's a fish? I'm gonna go back in. ETH six. Okay. I guess that's just the end of. check to see if there's an after credit scene I kind of want to look at the credits but I'm just gonna look it's only the first episode so I highly doubt it there is no after credit scene but holy shit that was an amazing first episode of Loki like super cool I was wondering when we were starting the series because it's 2012 Loki. It is Avengers Prime, just awful, not awful, but just bad Loki, you know? And we've seen him over the past however many movies after Avengers kind of evolve and change and where he ended up in Avengers Infinity War was a completely different person to where he was at in Avengers. 
Um, so it's one of those things where it's like, you're getting this Avengers level, like, I am the king, Loki, in this series, but they did show him pivotal moments in his future that I think are going to enact the same change. Maybe not completely, but enact the same change in order to make Loki the character we know more recently. Um, man, Tom Hiddleston, ugh, fucking so good already. Uh, I really like the setup. Um, I'm already super suspicious uh, of the entire TVA. Yeah, Time Variant Agency, I think that's what they said. Um, just the posters in the background. I think at one point, I'll try to find it uh, and put a still up. It was a poster in the background saying, always watching. Now, if that doesn't scream, there's something wrong with this place. <laughs> I don't know what does. Uh, it's one of those things where it's like, you're not meeting the bosses, you're just meeting all these people that are being told what to do, but how do you know if it's good? You know, how do you know if this thing is built on something that's right or true? I don't know. Um, it's just a lot of, like, questions, and also because the fact that we only really got introduced to time travel really in-depthly in Endgame, right? I don't think there was anything else that held that sort of candle. I mean, Doctor Strange played with it a little bit, but Endgame is kind of where we set up the rules of it. So this is... I don't, I don't know, because, oh man, <laughs> time travel is one of my favorite things to figure out in TV shows and movies when they set it up, because there are, I think, set rules for a lot of uh, time travel shows. You know, they have, you can have the end game rule, you can have the back to the future rule, you can have the Legends of Tomorrow rule. There are different, just, I don't know, it's very complicated. So I'm going to be curious to see how much this show delves into that. Because you kind of have to play with the rules already set up in Endgame. But when the judge, I think that's what that woman was, the judge when they were trying Loki, um, when she was like, the Avengers were supposed to do that. That was supposed to happen in the, I think, prime timeline. Um, so, <laughs> it's... It's one of those things where it's like, how do you know, like, how, how, how do these three, I think that's what it was, three time master thingies, people, uh, how are, do they know what's right and what's not right? You know, I mean, they were able to show Loki's tape because, you know, we've seen all that, but are they just seeing time as one big thing? And how far can they go? Oh man, <laughs> already the amount of like complicated questions that I don't think are gonna get answered. Well, maybe, I don't know. And the fact that it's like, is Loki the one in the hood at the very end there? And what version of Loki? Is it just bad, bad Loki? If it's, is it Loki that never experienced I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because <laughs> he was like, we're chasing you. But it's like, what does that even mean? <laughs> I don't know. Um, uh, this place also has a anti-magic field, it seems like. And there are infinity stones. I mean... If only we knew about this when we were trying to defeat Thanos in the first place. We could have just brought... Oh, so where were... How... Ha <laughs> ha So people... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So people were supposed... So Thanos was supposed to win and that was going to be a thing, but it all just got... Like, what was the... What was the point in... Okay, I just... This is going into... Just like, what's the point of having that snap happen if they were all just gonna undo it 
to progress in the five years that were supposed to happen to allow, well, I mean, it allowed for the other series. I mean, I guess without the snap, it, none of the other Marvel shows would have happened. Same with this show entirely. So maybe it's because in order to get Loki to be a part of or to work for the TVA, all that had to happen. Huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. This is already going to get really confusing. And we're only in episode one. There are five more episodes. So that's going to be fun. <sighs> okay. Well, really liked it. Great solid premiere. Enjoyed it a lot. Um, Loki is one of my favorite not villains, more just anti-heroes. I think anti-hero is a good way to describe Loki, you know? Yeah. So Loki's, Loki's one of my favorite characters in the Marvel Universe, so I am very excited. And I know how much Tom Hiddleston loves Loki and loves the character and loves playing him, so I'm super excited about this and very curious to see... Well, that... And then... Okay. I needed... <laughs> I'm just like unraveling different ideas and theories, but I guess we'll find out more as the series progresses. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I don't know when these are going to come out. I film them on Wednesdays and I upload them, but copyright is copyright. So I expect them to be on Fridays or Saturdays, one of those two days, maybe even Thursdays. Who knows? Thursday through, uh, Saturday or Saturday is is when when this is gonna be out. So yeah, I, or I I don't know. Maybe it'll maybe copyright won't affect anything. It'll be out Wednesday. Probably not. But okay. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought, and I'll see you next time for more Loki. Okay, beautiful.